So what, guys? My favorite Dragon Ball Z character, Broly, is finally getting the time that he so desperately deserves. He's finally getting put in the newest, and I guess first, Dragon Ball Super movie, because the other two are Dragon Ball Z movies. I was thinking, how does this change the Dragon Ball universe? Um, in a way, it doesn't really change it at all, depending on what happens, but potentially, it could change a lot. First. Broly could potentially finally be canon. Now, a lot of people are talking like it's set in stone. Like, yeah, Broly finally canon now. But, he is only going to be canon if this is officially incorporated in the Dragon Ball Super lore. After the movie stops and as the show continues going forward. Now, if he's never mentioned in the show again, then he's not canon. He's just in that one movie. But is he, if he's properly incorporated until what happens after this movie, then Broly has finally arrived on scene. How else does this change things? If he's canon, people can have their stupid arguments on whether or not he's stronger than Hit and Jiren. Well, because he'll definitely be stronger than Cell, which is the main person who people always ask if he's stronger. Than. But he'll we'll be able to talk about if he's stronger than Hit and Jiren. Personally, I don't care about whether or not he's stronger than Hit, Jiren, and Frieza, and blah 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 blah. I'm just glad that he's finally going to be canonical in the series. Well, if he is. Also, if this does well, there is a possibility and a chance, I don't know, that's fairly redundant, that older Dragon Ball Z movie villains, such as Cooler, such as Janemba could be brought back and incorporated into Dragon Ball Super. That could be very cool. I could understand why people would complain about that because it's like, well, you know, instead of giving us fresh ideas, you're just bringing these old things that we've already seen before back to the plate. And although I would like to see just straight up 100% fresh ideas, I wouldn't mind Cooler and Janemba and all these other old cool characters to have a little bit more backstory or story period to be elaborated upon. Uh, what else could possibly change? I think that's pretty much it that I have so far. I would love to see who you guys would or wouldn't mind being canon brought back as canon in Dragon Ball Super or you could talk about who you guys don't want whatsoever being brought back in Dragon Ball Super. Please like the video, sub to the channel. It's King Dub 7 signing off. Peace.